Good afternoon, Matthew. How is everybody on this fine Wednesday, sunny? There's actually a thing called the sun. It's actually in the air. I know, unreal. No one's seen it, but it's like being recluse. But it's actually here today. I'm off today, which is even better. Um, so what do we do on our day off? Good evening, Matthew, of course. So, um, hope everybody's keeping safe. Hope everybody's keeping well. Hope everybody's, you know, I know we're not in, oh, well, we are still got COVID, but obviously it's not as um, relevant as it was before. But I hope everybody is keeping well and keeping safe, et cetera, et cetera. So, I was talking to someone at work last week, and we got on a conversation about red and white wine. So, what do I do? I've got to try it, innit? So, I had some, I mean, I don't drink wine that much, so I've had some bottles in my bar, which I brought in today. Uh, we're going to try a couple of them. And then we're going to try a energy drink, which was down the road for two for a pound, and I wonder why it was two for a pound, but we will try them anyway. And I'm going to try a uh, liqueur as well. So, also last week, um, it was chocolate bar week, believe it or not. One of the days of the week was a chocolate, chocolate bar week. I don't know what it was, chocolate bar day or something. And uh, we had to describe ourselves at work as a fruit, and, and sorry, as a bar of chocolate and what it represents as his personality. So I always, I, I put down fruit and nut bar because I am fruity and I'm a complete nut job as well. So, um, and uh, I'm always off my rocker so uh but my my, my favorite actual chocolate bar is double decker in case anybody wants to ever buy me a double decker um i also wanted to promote lewis capaldi i know not he needs to promote, promote him but capaldi um he's on netflix um it's an absolutely fantastic documentary it's about his threat syndrome and about how he gets ready for the stage and everything else it's, it's, it's absolutely honestly worth a watch um, that's if you get time. So let's get on with it. So red and white wine, what's the difference? Of course, uh, white wine you keep in the fridge, so I know, and red wine you keep in the uh, room temperature. So without further ado, let me introduce the wines. So I have two glasses. As you do a fuck off gin glass. Um, so the red wine is a Chard, Chabonet, Chard, Ch Sauvignon, well, I don't even know what it is, but it's been in the um, bar for ages, but I haven't really been trying it. It's Italian, it's 14, 12% volume, um, I had, obviously people have been drinking this when they come around, but I don't really drink it, but, um, you know, I wanted to see a difference between red and white wine, and if there was much of a difference. Probably is a massive difference, of course, but people say to me when they have red wine, they get headaches, and when they have white wine, they don't. So it, I don't know what it is. So yeah, shut up. I can't want to look at comments to you. So let's go for the red wine first. Now, I don't think wine, I don't think wine goes out of date. I don't know if it does or not, to be honest with you. Uh, there's no date on here, so I'm assuming, no, oh, I don't think it does. Anyway, let's try sample of the red wine. So it's Italian, as I say, I can't read the back because it is in Italian, so I would tell you what flavors are in it, but I can't. So, I mean, I'm looking like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. Oh, that smells. Well, it just smells the standard wine to me, but you know, anyway, let's try it. It's not really, it's nice, it's nice, um, and I, if I could tell you what the flavours were in it, if it wasn't in Italian, I'd be able to let you know what flavours you're supposed to be looking for, but I can't see it because it's in Italiano, so let's try another mouthful. It's a 
I can't taste anything in that. Realistically, I can't taste much. It's, you know, it's very um, heavy. I think it's a very heavy drink. Um, and I may be wrong, I may be right. If there is wine drinkers out there, can you add lemonade to red wine? I know you can add lemonade to white wine, but I don't know if you can add it to red, red wine. But that's um, for you to answer, really. Okay, so... <coughs> As you can see, there's a massive difference between a red glass and a fucking white glass. As you can see, I... Uh, hello. Um, so, <laughs> so this is a white wine. It's called Distant Vines, Fruity and Zesty, made with Savon Blanc Grape Must Concentrate. Oh, I can't concentrate, so... Oh, I was putting that on there. But it's only 8% volume, so it's a bit a little lower percent volume and then our red wine. But then it's only 4.99. So, this could be a disaster. But let's just try. It smells very fruity. Very, very fruity. Okay, swirl it like I think I know what I'm doing. And let's try it. Maybe it's my taste buds, but I can't taste anything fruity in that. Mix alcoholic beverages with several blanc grape must concentrate as the sun sets over distant vines. It's delicious, easy drinking, refreshment. Enjoy chilled and it's own with food, fruity, zesty, lime and lemon. Well, I can't taste a lemon or a lime or gooseberry. Maybe I've got a dub bottle. Don't know. Let's try again. I mean, honestly, I generally can't taste anything in that. So. <sighs> White wine I drink more in a hot weather because I think it, it be quite. I mean, yeah, don't go wrong. It make you drink and make you uh, wee more and everything being diuretic. But I think I drink white wine in the heat, I like outside a pub on a, on a warm day. The red wine I'd have if I was depressed. I think because uh, I think it it would get you drunk quite quickly. Uh, I know. A few people I've spoken to before, they all say, you know, they can drink the beer all day. But once they go on red wine, they have two glasses and they're only ones. So um, I think that would be an easy one to drink if you were having a bit of a bad day. So, um, energy drink. So I saw these two down the road. One, two for one pound. It's Rock Star. Energy drink, original, no sugar. So, carbonated mixed flavour energy drink with sweeteners, with added caffeine, vitamins, and something else. So, let's try it. <laughs> Poor blimey. That smells very fruity. Oh, flipping heck. Oh, how can anybody drink these things? I see people drinking these all the time. Oh, that's just, that's just like having a bag full of sweets in your mouth. It's just. Oh, no, five out of ten. That's just that's just too much sweet in your mouth. I mean, I don't know how people drink cans of that in a day. Not my cup of tea. Last but not least, 
I am trying a liqueur. Now, my friend Phil Hollett brought this round for me one evening. And it, it, I didn't try it, actually, because uh, I was... Uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know. It's a pink bowl. It's called Pinky Blinders. And it's a blend of rum, raspberry and cream. It's a liqueur. Very pink, as you can see. It smells very sweet, which is pretty obvious because it's raspberry and uh, rum and cream. Up your bum. Oh, I didn't say up your bum for the rest of them. Up your bum, up your bum, up your bum. No, I'm done. really nice actually very nice really sweet which would be obvious because it's a cure but yeah that's uh on the money so i'll definitely give that a 10 out of 10 but i couldn't have too many of them bloody hell be off your rocker it's a bit like certain drinks you know you know you know when you drink certain drinks like um what's that drink that you drink outside uh, I can't think of the name of the drink now, but it's, uh, yeah, you know, oh, no, I anyway, can't think of the name of it, but there's a drink that you drink with loads of raspberries, it's got like loads of uh, grapes on the front of it, uh, and you drink three or four of them, my Lord, Christ, they get you very, very drunk, but you don't know you're drinking them because they're so refreshing, Magnus is another one. You drink Magnus with ice in it in the daytime, and you think, oh, this is all right. But then when you stand up, you realise that you're absolutely uh, off your trolley. So, um, anyway, stay safe, look after yourself, love you all. I will be doing another one soon. Um, and, uh, yeah, just keep smiling. Keep you smiling when you're smiling. The old world smiles with you. Take care.